In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat pretty much every coverage in the game with this PA read play from the gun doubles Y flex offset in the shotgun or in the spread offensive playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video, and I wanted to let you know really quickly what we do here at Madden 21 Tips and Tricks is we basically give Madden 21 tips and tricks, right? Very straightforward. And really what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to help you guys get better, but I'm also trying to help myself get better. And that's really the goal. That's literally our 100%. Like we are just trying to do that. And so, you know, I'm trying to learn from other people and I'm also trying to coach other people and coach you guys as well in what I'm learning. And so one of the routes that I'm learning, I learned this from ant cap early on. I haven't done a video on it yet. Um, but it is a really, really effective and AntCap uh, 24 is one of the uh, tip providers for Huddle.gg. If you've never heard of Huddle.gg, it's a really, really phenomenal uh, resource. They do some great work over there. But what I wanted to do is talk about this. He And he didn't talk about it from this formation. I think he talked about it from another formation. But I want to talk about the route specifically. And it's this, it's this angled post route from PA Reed. You can find it all over the place. But I want to specifically focus in on it as it comes from the doubles Y flex offset in the spread for May or spread playbook. So literally this route to Brown, uh, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't smart route or anything, but what I like to do basically is just take, um, take Boykin. You could do a plethora of things. I mean, there's, a, there's unlimited things you can do with him. You can leave him on that comeback, but I personally like to just fade him. Um, and at the snap of the ball, all you're going to see here is this route is going to get inside separate. Whoops. Ah, didn't lowball it. Um, the route to Brown is going to get open against a man. It's going to beat every man coverage in the game, whether they have one step ahead or not. You know, if you want to have someone that has like route technician on that, like a Devonte Adams for the Packers, um, this will work even better. But you'll see right here. See how it beats man. It's going to get that inside position. It's going to get it against. Um, it's going to get it against press man. It's going to get it against um, shaded coverage over top man. It's going to get it against every single man defense that you're going to be able to face. So. You know, this is going to work really, really well for you um, because there's two routes that really work well in hand in hand, in my opinion. And that's the fact that you've got the crossing route to triangle. Uh, Willie Sneed's route, he's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage right in this pocket. Now, most of the time, they're going to use her that route. They're going to try to use or guard that for just a split second. And with them trying to use or guard that route for just a split second, what that's going to basically mean is you're going to get something like this right here. You're going to get some kind of like, just kind of sitting in that zone. But what's going to happen and what they don't understand is they're going to go right there and of course, I'm going to get a nice throw out of sack animation because the disengages on practice motor are absolutely insane. But let me just show you really quickly here. So they're going to drop, like I said, they're going to drop maybe their linebackers, right? And that's that's going to be their user. And I'm just going to try to simulate this as best as I can. But what you'll see is this route to Marquise Brown. You're working your other route combinations. That route to Marquise Brown is going to beat man over the top. As you see that we're able to beat that cover two man defense over the top for a one play score. You want to have someone with 90 plus deep route running there if you can help it. But really all you need for this is speed. I would suggest if you're in mutt and you get to control who you have on your team, I would suggest it be someone with 90 or higher uh, deep route running. But this route is very, very consistent. Um, it's very, very effective against pretty much every coverage. It beats man. We'll show you here. So if they run like cover three or something, you'll see it's going to get open against cover three too, right? Low ball. And cover three is probably the one coverage that it, it, it needs a little bit of help on. Um, but Tampa 2, uh, cover 4, let me show you cover 4 real quick. So cover 4, like I said, most of the time they're going to go that way. If you just low ball, eh, whoops, that didn't work. Um, if you just, you know, if you just work this route, though, like I said, it's going to help. It's going to help primarily with man to man, but it does help with zone as well. Now, one thing you can do, and I haven't talked about this a lot um, against cover four. If, if basically what you want to do is if you ran like a kind of a slant, um, a slant concept here with Mark Andrews, you just put him on a slant. That's all you got to do. Uh, what you'll see here with cover four is it's going to kind of take this. Uh, deep safety out and I can actually get the ball over the top of the cover four, especially if I leave my right side guy on like an out route 
and I need to do a video on this as well, but this is kind of the formula or one of the many formulas for beating cover four over the top. So if they run cover four on you, if you have that out, that slant combo, you're going to see here Marquise Brown. I can just lob it right over the top of that deep safety, and this thing is going to roast cover four. So some really good ways that you can beat cover four. Um, you can also kind of use this formula, in my opinion, for beating something like a cover three lock or cover three defense um, that you're going to probably face. You know, these are simple route combinations. Nothing too crazy here, but I did want to show this. As you see here, Marquise Brown, it's a nice angled post, and that's what really – it's it's deeper than the routes that I have talked about before from, like, the gun trips out of the Arizona playbook. It's a little bit deeper. Honestly, I would probably rather – the, the routes from Arizona, if you were to ask me, just because I think that it works a little bit better, but it's a lot harder to stop the bombs out of this. Like, if you get good time in the pocket, you'll see here, he's going to run right through. I don't know why Lamar Jackson can't give him the ball. I know Aaron Rodgers would be able to make that throw. That's why I always use the Packers. But basically, like I said, you know, this, this route on the right, that's going to hold that blue or that, that deep blue on the right that Gilmore's on, that's going to be held by the out route. And then you're going to basically, as long as you have time in the pocket, you can kind of get this ball over that cover three, as you saw right there. So, you know, cover three is probably the one defense, at least in my opinion, that's going to be the hardest to hardest to work against because you can't, you can't get the route to go any shorter. But you do have one play touchdown potential uh, with this. You'll see once he gets passed right there, and Lamar just, for whatever reason, he can't make the throw. But if you have someone that has 90-plus throw power, 90-plus deep, deep accuracy, um, he's going to be able to make that throw. Cover three just happens, like I said, to be probably the hardest one that you can beat. But you have other things open. You have the slant open. You have the drag open. I mean, you pretty much have everything open. Um, but you see there, and there we do are able to get that beat that cover one or cover three style defense. So I just wanted to highlight that route. I've been sitting on that for a while, and I haven't talked about it. And uh, honestly, um, Ant Cap really put me onto that route. Ant Cap's a phenomenal labber and mentor of mine. I, I look up to him a lot, and I just think they do an incredible, incredible job. So if you want to check them out, uh, you certainly can. But this route, I think, is very, very effective. I love how effective it is against man-to-man. -man. And like I said, you could find it from multiple formations. It's not just from doubles Y flex, you know, in the spread. Play, I think Ancap shows it from like the doubles. Um, I, th I want to say doubles offset that he shows it from. Not the, not the one that has the tight end flexed out, but has the tight end on the line of scrimmage. But you see, I mean, it's just a really, really good route against man to man. The way people are playing Madden 21, you're either seeing, at least in my opinion, you're either seeing cover four or you're seeing cover two man. If you see cover three and some, you know, I just feel like cover three is not something that I struggle a ton to beat. Cover two man with the with with good user can be hard. And with a what's cool about this, you know, basically you have um, at least three routes that are going to win against man to man. Um, and it just kind of comes down to what is the user, you know, what is the user doing? Um, you'll see here the slant route to Mark Andrews um, is going to get fairly good separation as a general rule. If you put a wide receiver there, you get some more speed there. It's going to work even better. But anyways, guys, just wanted to share this with you, like I said. And if you want to get my texting membership, I do encourage you to sign up for that. Basically, what my texting membership is, it's just another way that I can give you more access to me. What I'm trying to do and what my real goal is. Um, for everything that all the content that I'm producing is to help you. And so one of the ways that I realized that was kind of hard to connect with people via YouTube. And so that's why I started the texting membership, you know, trying to connect with you, trying to give you more access, more resources, just trying to get more um, to you, more in your hands and just basically be able to help you better. And so we started a texting membership where basically what I do is every single week on Monday, I um, send a video to your cell phone via text, right? Send a video to your cell phone from my cell phone because it is my personal cell phone number. And I basically share a high level tip that will really, really help you. This last video that we did is very, very necessary, very, very needed, and very, very timely. We went through and showed you how to stop every single run in Madden NFL 21. We did over 50 minutes of breakdowns on exactly what you need to do and against what formation. We literally showed you multiple formations in that video. So I want to encourage you. And it's a very, very simple run defense. Very, very simple run defense. So... Um, but very, very effective. We also we show you how to stop fullback dive, quarterback sneak, uh, goal line. We show you how to stop QB draw, stretch, dive, every single run that you're going to face, uh, 0-1 trap. 
you know, HP counters. We showed you all of them. And so I would encourage you, if you have not already um, picked up that Texty membership, literally all you got to do to sign up is just shoot me a text. Let me know your name and let me know you want to sign up. Also, one last thing before we take off, make sure to join my Discord. Discord is a great place to be able, like I said, you know, it all comes back to I get coaching from other people. I learn from other people. That's what Discord's about. And then I give you the material that not only that I've learned from maybe others or some of the material I've created myself, and I give that to you here on YouTube. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join the Discord. That's the best way that you can kind of get started. And I would highly, highly encourage you to get on that texting membership. Um, it's just a very, very effective way, uh, in my opinion, for you to take your take your next step. Take your game to the next level level thank you for your time guys we've got a couple more videos coming and i do want to invite you to tonight's live stream we stream on youtube every single night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time we'll see you on the stream tonight